With the Zmodeler brush selected, hover over an edge and press spacebar to open up the Zmodeler Edge Action menu. Locate the Crease Action. With the Crease Action selected, you'll see a series of targets. To start off, let's select the Edge target. With the Edge target selected, if we simply hover over any edge on our model and simply click, we will end up performing a crease on that actual edge. So just coming through and clicking on your model will perform a crease in that area. To uncrease an actual edge, just hold down the Alt button and click on an edge with a crease, and that crease will be removed. The creasing option works really well with the actual dynamic subdivision mode. With the dynamic subdivision mode active, if I hover over a edge on my model and click, it will apply a crease to that actual area. With this crease being applied, you can see the actual creasing dynamically change as you hover over your mesh. So this will allow you to create nice hard edge surfaces on your model with these actual creases. So just come through and crease this area here, and then turn on dynamic, and you'll end up with a shape like this. Now pressing spacebar to go back into the edge action menu, you'll see you have a few more options of targets down here. So the edge was the one we were just using. We can change to edge loop complete, and this will look at the complete edge loops on your model and apply creasing in that manner. And then if we toggle on and off dynamic subdivision there, you can see that this edge is now increased and it's giving me a nice straight edge there. If I come through now and just uncrease everything, it's just doing an uncrease all, that just removed all that creasing. Now we can select the target such as edge loop partial. And now if we come across our model, ZBrush is going to look at the actual edge that we click on and it's going to crease until we come to a irregular point. An irregular point is a point on your mesh that is not connected by four edges. So this point right here is connected by one, two, three actual edges. So if we come through and crease this partial edge loop here, you're going to notice that that crease is going to stop at that actual point. If we came down here and creased this edge loop with the edge loop partial there, you're going to notice that this point right here is not irregular since it has one, two, three, four edges connected. So when I apply that crease, that crease is going to go all the way through that actual edge loop there. Now if we hover over the edge again and go back into the menu, you have one more target and this is poly loop. With the poly loop target selected, depending on which edge you're closer to, when you actually do the crease edge loop option, will crease that actual edge. So if I hover up the top of this actual edge here and click, it's going to crease this edge loop. And then if I hover over the bottom of this edge here, it's going to crease this edge loop. So using these different options of creasing different areas on your model, and then using this with dynamic subdivision, you can start creating these nice hard and soft areas on your mesh as you work.